Hello, my name's Matthew Croucher. I'm a specialist in older person's mental health. We're talking about different effects that alcohol can have on the body. We've already talked about the brain and some of the possible effects of alcohol on the brain. I thought the next uh, place to go to in the body would be the heart because I think there are a lot of mixed messages around and patients often ask me, isn't it true that I should be drinking you know, a glass of red wine every night to, to protect myself from a heart attack or a stroke? Or... So what's the story? What are the pros and cons of alcohol with this key organ in our bodies, our heart? Well, the, the medical news is it may well be true that tiny amounts of alcohol do actually thin the blood a little bit and that that might protect us from uh, outcomes like a heart attack. But the amount of alcohol that we're talking about is really small, probably less than half a glass of wine a day. And most of us that drink alcohol in New Zealand are drinking far more than that, perhaps you. So what are the costs of alcohol and the heart? Well, the first one is that alcohol just by itself is a, basically a poison for many cells in our body, including heart cells. And those of us that are drinking more alcohol than we should can expect that gradually over time our hearts will enlarge but become floppy and not that able to beat. I've met people who've had alcoholic cardiomyopathy. That means that alcohol has gradually damaged their heart muscle to the extent that their heart is larger than it should be and less efficient in its ability to beat. It causes what many of you may have heard of, something called heart failure, where the heart is not able to keep up with its normal jobs. So that is one of the things that alcohol can cause, but that's a more kind of end stage effect of alcohol at quite high doses over a long period of time. What about lesser but still problematic effects of alcohol on the heart? Well, one of the main ones is that alcohol can lead to increased blood pressure and from midlife onwards, from my age onwards, we really need to be watching our blood pressure and making sure it doesn't get too high because that will lead to damage in the heart muscles over the years. A second thing that many people don't know about alcohol in the heart is that when we're drunk, when we're intoxicated, our heart is more prone to going into those funny rhythms, beating irregularly. And it's those that can give rise to falls by uh, losing consciousness for a short period of time or becoming dizzy for a short period of time, or those arrhythmias can even lead to heart attacks. A final way that alcohol can interfere with how our heart is working, and this is a common pathway that we're going to learn about as we go through lots of different parts of our body is that as the dose of alcohol gradually increases for us over our lives, and folks, remember that doesn't mean that we're just drinking more, it means that our bodies become less able to handle alcohol. So even though the amount is the same, the effective dose becomes higher as we age. So as the dose increases as we age, this affects how our body is handling our nutrition and the heart is really dependent on having a good supply of energy to work properly. If it doesn't get that, then it begins to fail in its job. So, we've got the heart muscle developing a direct toxic failure from alcohol because it's a poison. We've got the heart muscles being able to function less well because of high blood pressure, which alcohol can lead to. We've got the heart muscle more prone to go into an inefficient or irregular heartbeat, especially when we're intoxicated. And we've got the effects of alcohol on our nutrition gradually building up as we get older, as the effective dose rises, so that our heart muscle becomes less able to beat. Now, all of this can increase our risk of falls, but all of this can also increase our risk of heart failure as we get older. That's the heart. Next time we're going to have a think about our gut, which is an, another one of those uh, deep internal parts of our body that alcohol can affect. <laughs>